What happened there? <laughs> I died again. No way. Yeah, I think I think it's the ship that's uh, that's knocking off the wall because each time it has happened, I have been near the ship's corners. I'm out of steel plates again. Are you kidding me? This ship is actually taking a pound in. <laughs> Chaos Nova Shipyard, yeah! I think we might have got hit by an asteroid because uh, I was uh, pushed out of the... Uh Ah. <laughs> yep, Digi's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, gun on the far end of the platform has been taken out by an asteroid. No. It's alright, it's just the gun. As long as it's none of our ships, that's the important thing. <laughs>
I have returned. Too much sugar in your tea leads to decay. I'm almost down here, ditch. Well, so well. I keep saying that. I'm, like, I'm done, and then I see something else that needs doing. My, I'm, I'm thruster blind. My brain is completely blind to the fact I've still got to put a rear thruster on. You have the five more minutes syndrome. I guess I'm going to need impl interior plates for a cargo and container, aren't I? I know I said I wasn't going to put one on. But I changed my mind because I might need it for extra ammo and loot and what have you. Interior plate needed. Okay, well, I'll go get that then. I am staying well away from this thing. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> I want to fly around the long way. <laughs> right, so I've just been downstairs, given Corey his treat, and he's still barking, so obviously my hypothesis is incorrect. <laughs> he's just barking. You you yeah, he's just barking for the sake of barking. Thrusters. So that's the rear wall there, or bulkhead if you prefer. I suppose it could even be classed as hull. Cannon fodder. Huh. <laughs> On a ship with no like corridors or anything, I think hull and uh, bulkhead are sort of interchangeable, really. Maybe. I don't know. I think a bulkhead is something that separates sections of Something them. inside, yeah. I'm going to set a bunch of interior plates to produce. It's like that thing. Why are they called steps on the outside and stairs on the inside? I wouldn't know. Yeah, a bulkhead is actually something that separates two areas. Ah, okay. Um, they can be inside the outside. Like uh, a bulkhead light, for instance. Oh. You know, part inside, part outside. Is that is a bulkhead also used for, like on massive ships, where they cut the um, base into sections, or not cut it into sections, but they section it up, don't they? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that if, in sections. Yeah, so if it gets it in one place, and it starts taking on water, then the other sections will last long enough to get everyone off board. And then they go down with the ship, and then they make a movie about it. Mm-hmm. It probably wasn't a good idea to advertise the Titanic as the unsinkable ship because you knew God was going to have a pop at that. <laughs> if he's up there, he just waits for moments like that, do you know what I mean? To be fair, it was unsinkable, then they changed the design. 
Mm -hmm. Cost cutting. <laughs> because of reasons. You hit something with enough force, you'll sink it, mate. No ship in the universe is unsinkable. Not unless at the moment it was about to fall underwater, a, a, a dirigible came from over the horizon and swooped down and collected it and lifted it back out of the ocean. I don't know why a dirigible, I just had the idea of a floating sort of Kirov coming in to save the Titanic. My mind's a fucking weird place. So instead of lifeboats, you pull the ripcord and a big balloon inflates and lifts the boat out of the water. <laughs> yep. It could work. It, it could work. Mate, I'm a genius. We need to get me on like a board or something. A board of. Waterboard? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How appropriate. Right, what do I need to get this storage container done? Because otherwise it's never going to happen. Uh. Construction components, computers, motors, displays, interiors, plates. I can't remember all that. My brain's not built to remember shit. My brain's meant to, like, creative and that. Remembering stuff, that's for people who are, like, running the banks and that. And even they haven't got a fucking good grasp on it. Right. Ten construction components. See, now, this doesn't help because I can't remember what's already on there. I'm looking at it. Oh, okay. So, ten construction components. Six uh, motors. Uh, that's thruster components. I think I might need to produce the motors. Oh, no. There's one. You need six to. Okay, production. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to put them to the front of the queue real quick. Alright. One display. One display. And five interior plates. I've lost the big box. <laughs> There's quite a lot of storage components on this system, isn't there? Right, I need one display, yeah? Mm-hmm. Are they the ones with the line through them? Yeah, they are. And where are those motors? In assembly machine five. Sweet, so I've got construction components, motor, display. I need interior plates as well, don't I? Mm -hmm. Cheers, boss. Oh, and I'm low on energy now as well, so I'll do that once I've jumped back in my ship. This is the bridge, isn't it? No, that's a wing, you dickhead. <laughs> Straight up, you're an idiot. Yeah, there is one thing I'm noticing that you don't have on here. Go on. Guns. Yeah, I'm. I'm still working towards that. Well, I shall help by making more ammo. <laughs> Bear with In a brother. Words, going mining. I'm not as efficient as you. It's like that thing in Men in Black where Will Smith's like, you know what the difference is between me and you? I made this look good. <laughs> You'll throw a ship together that could mine through an asteroid in 30 seconds. Mine's going to look stylish doing it, but it's going to take four days. How many sugars do you have in your tea, DR? One. One. Hmm. I almost got down to one and a half, and then I had to go back up to two again. I stopped drinking tea for a while, and I was like, oh. and then I couldn't drink it again. But one and a half, so I went back up to two. My dad's hardcore, he doesn't have any sugar. I don't know how he does it. You taste the tea, not the sugar. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, my dad has six. Your dad has six sugars. <laughs> He's making up for my dad. Doesn't it just turn to syrup with six? Yeah, pretty much. I'm sure I've had coffees with six sugars in before. I can't stand coffee, man. I wanna like coffee. It's another one of the other things that I wanna like, because it's like, interesting, isn't it? All the different aromas in there, and then you drink it, and it just sounds like, it tastes like mud, horrible stuff. 
personal opinion, opinion obviously. <laughs> I'm not saying it tastes like mud for everyone, but for me, it does taste a bit muddy. Yeah, I can't stand real coffee. I can drink uh, like instant coffee just fine, but see the real stuff? <laughs> I don't, it's supposed to be better than like decaf by a mile, but I just can't stand. It's like the skunk of coffee, isn't it? Or supposed to be the uh, the grade A coffee. <laughs> Columbia, very good at two things: coffee and coffee and cocaine. <laughs> Just saying. How does anybody in that country get any fucking sleep? During siesta. <laughs> Mate, we need to invoke siesta over here. That is such a classic idea. Yeah, but it, uh, our climates don't exactly uh, don't exactly. Uh, I will like find time to nap in the afternoon. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, in the in the warmer places, it's it's got a function. Mm. But for us, it's just it's it's not the siesta for us. It's like. An excuse. Just, just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You are mistaken, sir. We don't need excuses. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You perceive that I need an excuse. <laughs> oh, how many plates have I got left now? None! Actually none. Excellent. Oh, oh, mate, I almost did it. I almost landed on the platform from an upwards flip. That would have been badass. It's a shame I'm not recording right now. <laughs> it's just welding. Who would want to see me welding? Welcome back to part 259 of Space Engineers. We're still welding. <laughs> I'm totally recording myself going through inventories. <laughs> That's what editing software is for. Oh, yes. Hmm? You said that's what editing software is for. I think there are a couple of my viewers who prefer the sort of... They don't mind the slow plod. And to you guys, I say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, if it was me, I'd get the editing software and make a slow-mo version of it. <laughs> ten hours of... hours long. Yeah, ten, 10 hours of, spa of uh, space engineers, but like one frame per second spread out across one and a half hours? One and a half at the ten. No, it doesn't work, does it? It needs to be one and forty times ten. That is also wrong. Ignore me. I'm trying to sound smarter than I actually am. I was trying to think about how it would be if it was like one frame per minute and my brain just doesn't want to do the math across 10 hours. One frame per minute across 10 hours. 600 minutes. I feel like the two pieces of information I just provided were like answers. Like they're not the variables, do you know what I mean? Well, what's the source frame we're in? Well, uh, th say roughly 30. Because it jumps. It likes to jump about. Like House of Pain. <laughs> jump up, jump up, and get down! Jump, jump, jump! Everybody jump! I don't know where all this energy's come from. For how long? Mm. 10 hours. <laughs> so, 30 FPS. 10 hour clip, played back at 1F, <laughs> 1 frame per minute. Yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to work out here. <laughs> Just that that would be a painfully slow thing to watch. I remember when uh, Kyle got his GoPro out, we was doing archery. Like, <laughs> the range was was packed the day we went down there, so instead we tried... We decided to do archery in Kyle's back garden instead, and... Uh, 25 months. Really? <laughs> That's a long old time. Ten hours converts up to 25 months. About one frame per minute, yes. That's crazy. But yeah, we was uh, recording well, don't the... forget the source is at 1800 frames per minute. 30 FPS for 60 seconds. 
is 1800 per minute. Yes. Why? You're just a fountain of knowledge, you know that, bro? But yeah, anyway, we it's were <laughs> we were recording on the GoPro, which is obviously like the, this hard, you know, the hardcore camera for people who are sort of professional mm. when they want to do action shots and stuff like that. Okay. Well, it does like uh, 60 frames per second. We did our archery, and obviously, we wanted to we wanted to slow it down to the point where we could see the arrows hitting the target and that. And we slowed it down so much that we're sitting there, frame by frame by frame, waiting for just any flicker of movement on the screen. It took ages, but eventually we, we caught a little tiny clip of our arrow going towards the thing. But apparently arrows travel so fast that the GoPro can't pick them up on 60 frames. Like you see three frames worth of arrow, and then it's gone again. So... There's a reason Mythbusters use 500 FPS mm. cameras. Oh yes. And don't they look Actually, amazing? I think they go up to 2000. Yeah, they got some really hardcore ones. But um, you have to drop the resolution because of the, uh, it's basically a bandwidth limit. The, um, the best one they did recently was uh, trying to find out if India, if the, if the whip could break the, the um, speed of sound. Or it, it breaks the sound barrier. And I, I for some reason already knew that it, it would. I think they might have covered it on an older episode. Maybe. I don't recall them doing that. I'm so sure I've heard that somewhere I before, think, though. I think it might have been um, one of Adam's other videos. Oh, where, where he talks about making the whip. Yeah, it might have been that one. Mm. I'm testing. Yeah, we have a chunk out of the flat. There's a big old chunk missing up here in the line of the. Oh, That's yeah, I forgot to part. tell you, we lost a, t we lost a turret. I, that totally oh, slipped yeah. my mind, sorry boss. <laughs> that, that was your cue to say, Oh really? I wondered what was different. <laughs> no, when you break shit it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm just used to it. <laughs> that was a meteorite, it wasn't me this time. You set up the server, therefore your fault. <laughs> What's up? Uh, the ship keeps kicking me dead. Is it like a fucking bronco? Yep. That's not fair, ship. Play the game. Pardon me. I just got my inventory sorted out and now I have to go through it again. Space engineers. Prying tools from your you dead hands. I reckon if we were to build a ship that's off to one side, it's big enough like it's a massive ship, basically a station is what I'm getting at here. Mm -hmm. If we build something like that, then as the planet ro as the asteroid rotates, it won't jib all the stuff that's connected to it out, because I think that's what the problem is. As it, it's, it's a number of things. Possibly, I think DR said earlier that it might have been the ship rebalancing itself, like finding mm -hmm. its centre of gravity again, which is very possible. I also believe that it might be where the landing leg is connected to our platform and the asteroid is moving. Mm -hmm. Only very slightly, but as it does, it fucks up the plane that the ship's on and yeah. the game just can't handle that and the leg starts to twist and things like that. So I reckon that's what may be part of the problem. But again, this is all just speculation. Oh yeah, because it doesn't uh, jiggle around all the time. It's no. Like only, only a certain time periods. And sometimes it's worse at certain times than it is than others. Yeah. But I think that the worst times is when we're doing stuff on them and it's, it's changing the balance of the ship and mm. also the asteroids rotating, so... It's just the constant updates. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this game, and I'm surprised it runs as smooth as it does. Because if this was Minecraft, we'd have been. It wouldn't have happened, basically. Just put it like that. Ah. We'd be lagging, the server would have crashed, there'd be all sorts of chaos. Yay, chaos. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite. Right now, I'm just going through characters. Or Lego gloves. <laughs> or socks. 
I don't know what to call them. Renderings? Iterations? Avatars. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now there's like three of them <laughs> dead in the, in the uh, hangar bay. Yeah, ragdolls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do the ones that I can do, which is none because I put thrusters in the way. Clever me, clever me. Don't mind me, I'll just be over here collecting my Darwin Award. I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> down and I'm already I'm dead. This that's that's when I start getting really angry and agitated and like oh why does nothing work? I start deleting whole ships and fucking it off and just getting the right on with it. But for some reason you can't just turn the game off. It doesn't let you. Why would I delete the uh, uh, ship just because just, my character model died? I see that as like in my own personal experience, if the ship is constantly killing me, I try to set it up again where it's not shaking around so much. Yeah, but there is no such place here. If you put it, if you start building on top of that red cube, it's a bit more stable. Mm. The red cube helps as well because it allows you to get okay. under the under the ship. Games like this where you can work in all of the axes but still have a Minecraft experience sort of thing going on, that's so strange. <laughs> this is a lovely room of death! <laughs> Something to matter, Ace. Of course not, this is a lovely room of death you have here. Alrighty then, bye bye now. <laughs> Down, Boomba! Uh, it seems like there's a certain angle or certain area where it kills me. It needs, uh, you need thrusters and stuff to stop that out, didn't you? Yeah, thrusters and a gyroscope to get yeah, it to yeah, float. But, yeah, but I mean the uh, thing itself would still uh, sort of be loose in the inside the thingy. Right, I've got to try and make two out of this. Oh, Sorry, I can't help you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'll switch position one of the, the latest quirks uh, is kind of upright in the against the console. <laughs> Hi, did you come here often? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apparently, yes. I think it lets uh, like, 
free at the time to be okay. Have I told you about the time I was at the petrol station? And I and I said those exact words to yes, my yes, utter embarrassment. Oh my god. I wasn't even trying to pick her up, fuck's sake. Some women, some people, I was about to say some women, but I think it's it's all genders, not just women, but some some women <laughs> consider themselves quite high and mighty. Oh, this young gentleman is talking to me. He must be trying to pick me up. Well, it is kind of a classic of the cheesy pickup lines. Who, if there is a single person out there who's like, do you come here often? That is the worst chat up line ever. I would never use that. I would stoop so low. Yes, and naturally she knows that just by looking at you that you would never use it. Mate, she was like 35 or something and I was quite clearly rough and tumble youngs, youngin, do you know what I mean? I mean? She's the pervert for even considering it. How dare she? I feel violated, man. <laughs> Sexism in that man. <laughs> I'm really making a mess here. <laughs> you're not having fun if you're not making a mess. Hmm? You're not having fun if you're not making a mess. I concur. I certainly have no problem making this. We've noticed. <laughs> so here we are, desperate for plates, and there's like 4,000 of them sitting in the salvager. Oh, they're in the salvager. Excellent. That's right, make that 6,000. Excellent. Every now and then I get a little bit lonely and you're never coming round. Turn around. I should probably stop singing because it's like fucking well late and everyone in my house is asleep. Wake up! It's time for fun! I thought I could fit between that space. Damn it. I'm you, Multiverse. I have many. I need to stop with the fucking singing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where I've got all this energy from as well. I preferred it when I was like, uh, can't be asked. Some might even say my best moments. Take it off! Take it off! Make it rain! <laughs> Later, if you enter, uh, when you enter the room, you can uh, guess the situation by all those uh, extra tools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I could make a fortune just mm. by the respawn <laughs> This is a lovely room of death! Definitely a storm. I've got a ship that's made of, I don't know, super hardcore stuff now. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I think it needs a Chaos Nova esque name. Like Raptor or something. Oh no, that, that's an Overseer. We can't use that name then. This ship? <laughs> Bit close to the old mark of the uh, serenity in it.
Don't build the white uh, wire frame. Bleaching all over the place. Okay, I'm sure that all the uh, inventory is gathered, uh, gathered it all up in the one. Nice. I'm starting to produce more ammo. Nice. Someone went on a magnesium field trip, found loads of stuff. Progress, I guess. Welding. Apparently this asteroid has golden iron in it. Our home asteroid, or the one far away? No, our home one. It's showing up on the HUD now. Oh, how'd you manage that? It's, it's a board detector. You can set it to broadcast using the antenna on the ship. Oh, nice. What happens if you put a um, ore finder on the station? I don't think that'll work, will it? Um, you can put them on large ships. I don't know about stations. But uh, the range is triple on large ships compared to small. Oh, sick! Yeah, 50 meter range on a small ship, 150 on a big one. Ew, I like the big ones. <laughs> How about you? You know, if you built... If it does work for a station, you can go out by the asteroids, build a single block station with a reactor and an uh, ore detector antenna, and... Uh, the broadcast, so you'd have like a HUD or you know, display of all the ores all around you. Huh, might be worth doing. I don't know, might be. But the only thing is, with a large ship, you have these great big bloody antennas to build, which are annoying. So I think I'm coming to the end of my adventure now. Oh, hang on. I've got just two more blocks to place and then I can start putting guns on it. I can see how that would be a challenge, yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, because right now the uh, the function that I'm really lacking is the sort of pick, pick up block or undo the, uh, the need to physically uh, grind everything or sort of uh, puts everything in danger though. You shouldn't be dying this much, though. No, the thing is that I'm... well... 
sh I should be because I am trying to do stuff at the ship's hull or at the ship's uh, body, which is violently rocking all the time. So whenever I'm I'm in range, but did she, you can take you can start taking it apart actually. Uh, I will try to reposition the whole operation. Guns. So you're scrapping this? Yes. Because the, uh, the main body is nothing but sort of visual guide anyway. The only only real uh, component right now is the cockpit. Go. It stopped shaking. Ah, okay. I guess it's the it's a shape issue. Oh, okay. No, it's because it was uh, anchored to the floor. Yeah. That was the dangerous maneuver I was trying to do before to uh, get it off. Ah, oh, but if it's. Uh, Okay, I have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 guns. Hmm, <laughs> sounds like fun over there. Sounds delightful. I am, uh, I am, uh, taking the tools up at this moment. There's plenty of tools in that chest for you.
<laughs> Hello. Hi. Right. I think that's all of the guns. Oh no, there's uh, two on either side here as well. Oh, that one hasn't got enough steel plate to finish, so what about you? Hey, you're good. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to use the assembler to disassemble for a second. So I'm picking up the ammo for now. Oh, have I put a camera on this yet? I have another way. Let's get a camera on here somewhere. Um, gee. I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what I need to make a camera. Two steel plate, three computers. Excellent work! Same I need steel well. plates. Yes. <laughs> I'm no good at this. Uh, I think it's just the introduction of two new keys, the up mm. and down key. I'm I'm not too great with that. Mm. Steel plates, and I've got loads of computers. Okay. Q and E isn't a too bad because they're above left and right normally. Anyway, do you know what I mean? Mm. So they're not too bad. Oh, I've got to do the rear thrusters as well. So that is. Oh, you're doing a camera for me. Thanks, Deej. Someone's desperate to go kill pirates. Yar. <laughs> I'm gonna add a camera on each wing here too. All right. Just redundancy. Uh, back up. I totally, I see a death.